Well, we continue with our discussion on the Kelly Thomas death. Now joining Ron Thomas and Bruce Whitaker is Dr. Gustavo Alva, a psychiatrist who specializes in schizophrenia. Doctor, thank you for being here. On the contrary, thank you for having me here. I offer the question to you. Obviously, mental illness is a tremendous component both in Kelly and many of the homeless. Talk about schizophrenia and the role it plays. Well, first and foremost, my condolences because this truly is a tragic story that encompasses a serious problem that we face in our communities. Really, a lack of an understanding of serious mental conditions, medical problems that have treatments and have ways of actually being countered uh, is really what's at play here. When we talk about somebody suffering from a medical condition and then subsequently a misidentification of certain things and then subsequently a lashing out onto certain behaviors is a great example of where we need to have greater sensitivity, greater education, and a greater understanding about many of the medical problems that we face right now. Doctor, I'm told that these officers need at least 16 hours of a minimum requirement in mental health training, if you will, as they deal with these homeless folks. The police department is not telling me whether these officers involved in the meeting had that training. How important is this training, or is it simply just a panacea? Well, it's critical. I think that many of the things that, for example, the Orange County Medical Association, the Orange County Psychiatric Society have attempted to do is really to create educational programs for, again, again uh, governmental agencies and, again, local public for a greater understanding of things like schizophrenia, for example. If you've got somebody that's homeless, that could be as a consequence of a serious mental condition that brings about certain problems in that individual being able to figure out whether something's real or not. And well, quickly, if, we can't solve the world's problems, but what do you say to the police then who did this? What is the answer when you deal with mental illness, which is such a grave component of this? First and foremost, not vilifying mental conditions, and then subsequently not jumping onto situations that could actually be harnessed or could actually be tempered down through an appropriate approach. So having a solid backdrop in regards to how to handle uh, situations that might be escalating rather than jumping on and actually utilizing physical force. Ron, we're running low on time. Wasn't there anything, and I almost rhetorically say this, that could have been done for your son? Obviously, he's diagnosed early with schizophrenia. He showed signs early on as a young man. You probably went to Herculean efforts to try to help this person. Absolutely. Uh, for years and years and years, we've always helped him. Um, in and out of boarding cares. He's had his medication. He would be doing fine. And it was always, Dad, I feel fine. I don't need the medication. Well, that's the vicious cycle. It's, it's like, well, you're feeling fine because of the medication. And then they walk. And they're, they're free citizens in the United States. There's nothing else you can do. And it's heartbreaking. Um, but years uh, of trying to help him. We know what the police did not do. We know what society did not do if in fact it fails the homeless and the mentally ill which i suppose it does to be honest let's be fair in fairness what did you possibly not do as a father trying to help your son um, i really don't know i mean i went to such length as uh... i would get a call that he was in a park in yorba linda i, would, I drove and got him i took him to a lockup facility in santa ana a psychiatric facility I physically, as his conservator at the time, I could do this. I physically had to uh, put him in an arm hold and get him through the door into a lockup facility. I mean, that's tough love, and people are always, where was the dad? They just don't know. They just don't know. I don't know what to say, except we do wish you the best, most definitely. You can watch this show and past shows by going to pbssocal.org and clicking on Inside OC. My guests have been Ron Thomas, Bruce Whitaker, Chris Thompson, and Gustavo Alva. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again Inside OC.